This video tutorial is about plan to cruise agreements and why you should be using them. So what is a plan to cruise agreement? It is a binding agreement between you and your client whereby the client agrees to use your services. The agreement provides for a retainer fee to be paid by the client for your services. It also documents the terms and conditions of the agreement. So why would you need a plan to cruise agreement? Simply stated, it is used to protect you from working for free for a number of situations. When you are talking with an obviously unrealistic client about a cruise that is probably just trying to pump you for information, that is an excellent time to introduce your plan to cruise agreement. Never allow clients to use you for information and then go elsewhere to shop the cruise that you've suggested for them. When the commission you might earn from the sale of a cruise is too minimal to make any money, use the agreement to bolster the overall revenue generated from the sale. And if you have a client new to cruising that is going to require a good amount of consultation, use your agreement to offset the additional time you will have to invest in them. And when you are talking to a client that has unrealistic demands, use the agreement to qualify them or to fire them. Agents that have not used a plan to cruise agreement in the past are always a little apprehensive about introducing it. So the first thing to remember is to relax. Let your client know that you do this all the time and it is a normal way you deal with clients. And once you've qualified the client and decided that an agreement is appropriate for this client, it is time for you to share your unique value proposition with the client to assure he or she that you are the logical and best choice to plan their cruise vacation. And be sure that the expertise that you share relates to the cruise vacation they want to plan. If it's a cruise to Alaska, then let them know you're an expert at planning cruises to Alaska. Once you have established your credibility, introduce the plan to cruise agreement. And explain that you require a deposit to begin the planning process for their cruise vacation. And explain the many benefits that the client will receive by allowing you to first find the right cruise line, ship, itinerary, pre and post cruise accommodations, and activities and shore excursions. And explain that once you have zeroed in on the right elements for their cruise vacation, you will give them a quote and they can take that and shop online with other agencies or directly with the cruise line to get the very best price. Explain that if they end up booking the cruise with you, the amount or percentage of their retainer will be applied to the final payment for the cruise. At this point, it is up to the client to decide to execute the plan to cruise agreement or not. Do you not begin your research until the agreement is signed and the deposit has been given to you. So let's recap the benefits of using a plan to cruise agreement. Stop working for free. Your time is valuable. And stop working for minimum commissions. Your time is more valuable than that. And stop working for unrealistic clients. Stop the abuse. Your time is more valuable than that. If you've enjoyed this video tutorial, please click on the like button and leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And for more video tutorials, visit www.homebasedtravelagent.com. And thanks for being with me today.